Our first guest is an Oscar and Emmy nominated actor, comedian, and Marvel superhero beefcake. Next, he plays the founder of the world's greatest male stripping empire in the limited series, Welcome to Chippendales, which is coming soon to Hulu. Please welcome Kumail Nanjiani. <laughs> That's your, uh, that's your first time doing anything like this. This is my very first time doing anything like this. I've never done any stand-up. <laughs> you're, you're quite an accomplished stand-up comedian. I used to be. <laughs> I used to be funny and interesting. There was a lot of stuff I used to be. I was gonna say, that's really infuriating because you really are a natural at this. Like, you really did a great job. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. You seem surprised. I'm not, I'm a little surprised. Okay. Because I knew you'd be funny and charming. I just didn't think you'd have like zero stumbles and very good at reading prompter and all that stuff. And under 30 seconds, that was very <laughs> impressive. Thank you, thank you. That's now, you and I, um, we've known each other for quite a while. We have. We've known each yeah, other for a few years, yeah. A few years. We met at a Game of Thrones. Right. Yeah. I was a big fan of your show, <laughs> Someone Likes Game of Thrones. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Uh, Wow. Uh, guess it was a popular show. Yeah, it turns out. <laughs> so, and I was on a show on HBO called Silicon Valley. Yeah. So now the numbers bear out the Silicon Valley, much more popular than Game of Thrones. Yes, clear. <laughs> this clear. is science, you can't dispute it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so I used to go, we used to go to these uh, Game of Thrones events because of HBO, and you guys used to go because you were fans of the show, and that's where we met. That's right. Do you remember our first conversation? I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said, <laughs> I was standing there with Glenn Howerton, who plays Dennis on my show, and my wife, Caitlin. And Kumail comes walking over with his wife, Emily. And he, the, first, the very first thing he says to me is, I want your abs. <laughs> was that? That was really the first thing? Yeah. That's what I said first. That was the very first thing that you said. That is how I, like, introduce myself to most people. Well, I was gonna say, I wasn't sure if I was the first person that you had said it to no, that that's, night. No, that's pretty standard. That's how I met Emily. <laughs> <laughs> said, I want your ass. I just remember turning to Caitlin and saying, I like this guy. <laughs> We're gonna get along just great. So I have the lovely distinction of working with my wife. Yes. And I know that you obviously work with your wife as well. I do, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's been wonderful. We just had our 15th wedding anniversary. <laughs> 15 years. Yeah. Did you, did you do anything special for your... Did we do anything special? So we were working, you know, I was shooting this, uh, the Chippendale show, uh, and she produces it, I'm in it. And so she was like, weeks before, she was like, let's not get each other anything. We love oh, each other. Oh, man. Okay. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, my heart's going. Just my heart's about going it. right now. Just so She's that. like, we love each other. We know we love each other. Let's not get each other anything. All the stress, all that. I was like, great, perfect. Weeks leading up to it, I'm like, we're not getting each other. She's not getting each other anything. I'm in bed the night before our wedding anniversary. I have to be at work at 5 a.m. the next day. As I'm falling asleep, I get a text from a friend of mine. He's like, hey, big secret. I have two pieces of bad news for you. One, she got you something. <laughs> and two, it's really great. <laughs> so I start spiraling, you know, because I haven't, I haven't bought a gift because I'm a man of my word. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I wake up the next morning and I'm freaking out. I get to work and um, I'm like, what am I gonna get her, what am I gonna get her? So I play this game every day. Do you know this game called Framed? Do you know what that is? No. <laughs> Again, uh, that's exactly the same as, fan uh, as Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Yeah. It really checks out. Story. <laughs> Big nerds. <laughs> it's a game where every day you go and they, sh they show you a still from a movie and you have to try and guess what that movie is. And if you don't get it right, you get another still. You get six different frames from the movie and they get easier as they go. I play this game every day. It's my favorite game. I do it every day. I have friends, we, you know, get competitive about it. We text about it. So I'm sitting in a makeup chair and I play the game and the first screen pops up and I'm like, it's a wide shot of, of Chicago. And I'm like, 
I think this is the movie that Emily and I did together, The Big Sick. I think this is... Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. From I type in The Big Sick. That's the movie. So, the Big Sick is oh. the movie. On my wedding anniversary, the movie that we made about us meeting and us falling in love. What are the odds? Crazy, right? <laughs> Amazing. I'm like, I could do anything today. You know, I could, I, could, I could buy a lottery ticket. I should jump in front of a bus, see what happens. I'm bulletproof today. And also, I was like, almost cried. I was like, so moved. Because usually movies are like, you know, Jurassic Park, Black Panther, Goodfellas. And I'm like, wow, my movie is as big as those movies. It's in the conversation of the same group. <laughs> so now I'm waiting for Emily to wake up. I got to call her and tell her. So at 8 a.m., I call her. And I say, hey, Emily, you should play Frame today. And she says, I know. Happy anniversary. Oh, so no, this is not the right reaction. <laughs> it's not cool, because she's ruined my day three different ways now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Way number one. <laughs> my movie's not big enough to be with those movies. OK. <laughs> uh -huh. Two, I thought the universe was telling me I was going to have a great day. Turns out the universe is just telling me that my wife is a liar. Uh -huh. yep. And three, now I got to get her an anniversary present. <laughs> and I'm at work. So what'd you get her? I got her a book about birds. <laughs> well, you know, you've had a, a good couple of years. You've had a, you oh, know, you've yeah, really had a good- Oh, yeah, the pandemic is really- Yeah. <laughs> Minus the marital discord. Um, you, you starred in Marvel movies, some Star Wars- One. One, one, yeah. one which leads to many. Well, we'll see. I don't know yet. It's so far, it's one. OK. Yeah, I mean. Do you know how many Marvel movies I've starred in? <sighs> Is it very close to zero? Yeah. <laughs> it's very close to zero. Uh-huh. Yeah, and also Me Star Wars. You're in Star Wars Yeah, I was series. in Obi-Wan. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That was great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Oscar nominated, uh, Emmy nominated. I guess that's right. Marvel, Star Wars. And you guys had, I mean, you've been nominated, right? For Emmys, like for Sunny. You guys probably get nominated every year for uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, probably. <laughs> right? 17 years, it's a lot of nominations, racking up the noms. Probably a win or two. Zero. Zero. <laughs> okay. Zero. I gotta, I've talked to you about this. I've talked to Charlie about this, too. It's so unfair and wild that you guys haven't gotten nominated. Yeah. It's really, really not cool. It's my, it's my, it's, it's like one of my favorite comedies, and, you know. I knew you'd be a great guest. Listen. I knew you'd be a great guest. Listen, I love doing Marvel and Star Wars, but, you know, adding that to it would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so on the Obi-Wan, we're just changing the topic? <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. yeah. It's my show, bitch. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, right, where's your... Well, whose name is it right here? Does it say Kumail's name? No. no. It says never nominated Rob McElhenney. <laughs> I think Kimmel's up for an Emmy probably again this year, right? Well, I just <laughs> that up for you guys. Well, now oh, you're yeah, never going to win. Yeah. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what it is to play a con man? I know you play oh, a con man in. Yeah, because I got to play one on Obi Wan. He's a guy. You know, I, you guys have seen it, or haven't. If you haven't seen it yet, you're not gonna see it anyway. <laughs> I play a guy who's pretending to be a Jedi, so he's like doing it to like get money, but you know, he's got a heart of gold and anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I looked up how con, like I looked up the tricks of con men and that kind of stuff. And you, you sort of like, it's a lot of eye contact. Mm -hmm. It's uh, saying uh, their person's name a lot, you know, oh. Rob, and it's... Oh. And it's flattering them, for instance, saying that they should be nominated for a show <laughs> that they Thank you. unfairly I... have not been nominated for yet. I really Bob. appreciate that. Yeah. There, there is another person whose name, maybe you could lock eyes with yeah. him and say his name, and that could take us to break. Guillermo. <laughs> Here with Kumail Nanjiani. Kumail, your new show. Rob. Yes. Your new show is called Welcome to Chippendales. That's right. 
I have a new show. It's called Welcome to Wrexham. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, well, we we're got here a... to talk about you, not me. We got a couple of but Welcome to shows. It would be interesting to do a, a, a very special crossover episode, would it not? So would it be a bunch of, like, uh, uh, like male strippers going to Wales? Yeah, <laughs> or it could, it could be some North Walian strippers. <laughs> I think that's That come great. to Los Angeles. Yeah, that Welcome sounds great. Welcome to Wrexham Chippendales. Yeah, <laughs> wow, you really came <laughs> up with that. Right now? That happened in the moment. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That happened in the moment. <laughs> it is a couple of Welcome to shows. For us, it was, we, uh, the reason we called it Welcome to Chippendales is because we uh, couldn't think of a name. Yeah. And we were like, what's the, oh, welcome, okay, let's do that. Do you think It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia was something that we had been mulling on for months? No. <laughs> it just sort of happened at the last minute. It is, it is a, a curious name. I've always wondered why it's called that. Because we had no other idea what to call anything, so we just, we tried to find the most difficult name to, pronounce and remember that we possibly could. It's not hard to pronounce, but it is tough to like, yeah. it's a long, maybe that's what's holding you guys. <laughs> yeah, it could be. If it was, it was just called like Sunny in Philadelphia, my God, 10 at least. nominations, got a couple Emmys at home, you know? <laughs> um, now, it you is unfair, for real. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Did you have actual male strippers? On we had show? professional dancers who played male strippers on the show. Yeah, and they were very, 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 very good. And it was, <laughs> someone's just wooing the concept Woo. of someone being good. <laughs> Yay for not ineptitude. It was great, it was wild because, you know, we had, we would have the performance that we would film and we would have like a hundred background. It was all women because this guy who started the club wouldn't let men into the club other than um, during the performance. Men couldn't come into the club. And so they would do this performance and they would tell the audience, the actress playing the audience, to not make a sound, you know, get the dialogue and all that stuff. And each time they yelled, cut, the audience would explode. It was like a real reaction. It was like a real wild reaction. It was really kind of exciting. I was like, oh, this is why Chippendales is huge. Every time we would do it like 40, 50 times a day. And every time it was like they'd never seen a guy with a sock down his pants. <laughs> was that the trick? Was that, were they utilizing that trick? And oh, yes. I mean, none of these. I mean, maybe a couple of the dancers got that going on, but it's mostly lies down there. <laughs> or is this just something you needed to tell yourself? No, you I, I saw them do it though. <laughs> and I, in the beginning, I was like, wow, everybody's really, what was the uh, audition process for this? <laughs> Everyone's feeling great about themselves. And I, <laughs> I feel terrible. But I looked closely and it was just real uniform. You know what I mean? Like. There was no definition, is what you There was said. no definition. Okay. It was just sort of like, you know, just like a folded. It was sort of like. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's a strange sock. <laughs> it was sort of like that. It was just like flat and it looked hard. Oh. <laughs> they have drugs for that. Could be. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think this was, this was... This was stuff that they were stuffing down there, for sure. <laughs> Do you remember the old, um, the old game to find your stripper name? It would be your, pet, your first pet and yeah. the street that you grew up on? Yeah. What would your stripper name be? Uh, Bagel Clifton. <laughs> Bagel Clifton? Yeah, because my first... My, I'm, I live with Bagel now. She's my first pet I've ever had. She's a gorgeous little cat. And Clifton was the street in Karachi because, you know, the British used to run us and they named some stuff, including that street. <laughs> what would yours be? Uh, Peppy Plumstead. That is actually good. That's actually pretty good, right? Um, Guillermo? <laughs> Absolutely hammered by the end of this. Uh, Guillermo, can you remember at this point what uh, what your stripper name would be? Mine was Paco Easter. <laughs> Paco, Paco Easter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to see you shotgun that beer. Can we can we make that happen? Yeah, sure. Yeah, there you go. Guillermo.
Uh, so thank you for coming, Kumail, uh, and being my very first guest on a talk show. Wow, that's right. Thank you Welcome for to Chip and Dallas is coming soon to Hulu. We will be right back with Charlotte Nickdow.